uh, I'd like to show you a model, and this is a model of a penis in order to explain how erections happen and how the drugs uh, Viagra and Levitra and Cialis work. So this is a penis and it has these two white elements here. They're not white in, in reality, but, but they're like sponges. It's, they call the cavernous bodies. And up here we have the blood vessel that goes into the penis. So um, basically the blood vessel, the blood rushes into the penis and then it fills up these sponges. And down here we have the urethra. This is where the urine comes through, all the way out to the tip. So basically what happens when a man has an erection is um, the blood rushes in, uh, through the blood vessel and into the sponges, fill up the sponges, and that's what an erection is. It's simply a blood-filled penis. The, and uh, the outflow, the blood vessels going back out of the penis, are kind of, they tighten up by a membrane that goes around the penis. And so the blood is really trapped in the penis for a while, making it stiff and hard, and that's an erection. So the way Viagra works, I'm saying Viagra, all of them work exactly the same way. Viagra, Levitra, and Cialis all work exactly the same way, uh, and that is by inhibiting a substance that called it's called nitric oxide. Uh, so when a man gets aroused, uh, ru blood rushes to the body and, and to the penis and, and fills it up. And it's not very healthy to have an erection for a long time. So our bodies are designed in a way that this um, blood supply uh, again will go away after a while because it's not healthy to have an erection for a long time. In fact, it's called priapism is a man ha if he has an erection for several hours and that can be dangerous. He usually will end up in the emergency room. It's not, it doesn't happen very often, but it's something that's called priapism and so basically it's not healthy to have an erection for a long time and basically because the blood is stuck in the penis, there's no circulation. We need fresh blood to the penis and, and in and out again. So it's not healthy to have an erection for a long time. So the body makes sure that as soon as a man has an erection, after a while it will be broken down and the blood flow has to um, go away again for the erection to go away. And so basically what, what the, the drugs uh, Viagra and Levitra and Cialis do, they are called PDE5 inhibitors. And they inhibit an enzyme that's called phosphodiesterase. This is getting very complicated and I'm trying to keep it simple, but basically these drugs inhibit the breakdown and, and, and inhibit the, the fact that the blood is again rushing out of the penis. So they trap the blood in the penis for a little bit longer than the body normally would allow you to. So that's really what the drugs do. They keep the erection longer than your body would normally keep it. And one thing that's important, a lot of people don't realize that the drugs don't really change your desire. You need to have an, uh, a desire for sex or you need to be sexually aroused. They don't they don't turn you on. They All they do, they help you with the blood flow. They increase the blood flow that's already there to a certain extent. They just make it more powerful. And uh, But you, I always give this example to my clients. I tell them, if you take one of these pills and mow your, go out and mow the lawn, nothing is going to happen. No, you need sexual stimulation and then your blood will start flowing into the penis and then the drug will make sure that this blood flow is enhanced and that it will stay around a little bit longer than it normally would. Um, the different pills come in different dosages. Viagra comes in a 25, 50, and 100 milligram. The Levitra comes in four different dosages, 2.5 milligram, 5, 10, and 20. The usual starting point is, is 10 milligram. Uh, Cialis is 5, 10, or 20. Viagra takes about one hour to work. Uh, Levitra works a little bit faster, and Cialis actually works over a longer time period. It works up to 36 hours and it's sometimes called the weekend pill. So it will stay in your system for 36 hours and, and you can, you don't have to be as, um, you, it's not as, as restrictive as, as Levitra and, and, and Viagra. So you can benefit throughout a longer period from Cialis. It's very popular in, in, in Europe. Um, the one thing that's always very important to remember is, is not to eat any fatty foods. Don't have a big meal just when you take this medication because it's going to be harder for your body to absorb it. Just have a light meal 
and certainly don't eat any fatty, greasy food because it will decrease the absorption. Uh, also, don't drink, uh, try to drink very little or no alcohol with it because alcohol really has an, an opposing effect. It's not very good for your erections to have uh, too much alcohol. Um, and I actually usually recommend for the men that I see in my office to, when they try Viagra, Levitra, Osealis for the first time, I say just try it on your own first. See how it works. And the one thing is very, very important to tell them, it, it doesn't always work well right away. Sometimes you need to try and take it several times. Um, and don't take several on a day, on one day, but try again later. Try it a few days later, try on a different occasion if they don't work very well for the first time. It's not unusual for this to happen and you need to give it several tries and a lot of people don't realize that if it doesn't work after the first time, they think, well, that's it, it just doesn't work for me. But that's not true. I always tell them, try it on your own first. Try and masturbate. See, does it feel different? Is it, is it, does it work for you? Also, one thing that they can um, see in that situation is whether they have any side effects. Um, and some of the possible side effects are headache. And this is the, true for all of these medications. Headache is sometimes a side effect. Flushing, having body parts flush, just get red, there's increased blood flow in other body parts and not... Finally, I want to finish off by, by just reminding you, sometimes men who have maybe not had erections for a long time and take these pills, maybe they haven't had an erection for years and haven't had intercourse for a long time, be considerate of your partner because this is a completely new situation. Let's say if, if it's an, a female partner, um, she may not have had intercourse for years or for a long time and she may need some time to get back. She may need some time to get in the mood. So I just want to uh, have you think about to be very considerate of your partner in this situation. And, and one thing I always say is, you know, take the time that it, after you take the pill, you need to wait before it works anyway. So just spend some time on your partner. Uh, be considerate of your partner.